the hot. Welcome to my week after the show. Hey, um, you couldn't you couldn't go this week without seeing the story of that kid out of Texas, Irving, Texas, Ahmed Mohammed, who um, loved to build things, was in the robotics club uh, when he was in middle school, <laughs> and he built a clock, a homemade digital clock, hoping to impress his new science teacher well, in high he school. Did. He, did and he brought it in, him. and the science teacher was like, that's, him as a terrorist. "That's okay. Um, you probably shouldn't show anybody that." His English teacher <laughs> saw a fuse sticking out of the side. Well, it saw he saw this contraption that had a lot of wires sticking out of it, and if anyone has ever watch the TV show 24 yeah. or seen any kind of crazy spy movie, everyone automatically assumes that they know what a suitcase bomb looks like. Um, and so this kid was hauled out of class. Um, he was interrogated by <laughs> six police officers and the principal. And he kept repeating, you, you shouldn't laugh at it, but yeah. it, it's one of those things, he kept repeating, it's a clock, I just, I just made a clock. They brought him to juvenile detention. Mm. They took him out of school in handcuffs and they fingerprinted him, yeah. um, took his mug shot and then they ended up releasing him and said, yeah. oh, well, it's not that big of a deal. So the big debate about this, which is raging in social media and, every, and everywhere else, is did the school go too far, or is it just them saying, you know, we are trying to protect kids, we have kids' best interests at heart, if you see something, say something, and we just, we had to investigate this. I don't know, who wants well, to I mean, jump in Well, I mean, really a that? debate. I mean, of course they went too far, I mean, but, are there at least are there people saying the school was zealous. well within its rights to yeah. do See, that? Yeah, a lot of people are defending the school, and that's that's one of the problems. They're saying, well, you know, you never know who's a terrorist, and uh, schools have to be on extra alert about things like this. And of course, no one wants to talk about the fact that what's really going on here is that the kid's name is Ahmed. Well, that's the question. If and, John Smith yeah, walked right? in and had uh, some weird contraption in his on English the honor class, roll because of that. would would he have received the same treatment? Well, who knows? I, guess I mean, is the same you get these schools are. Are, are on edge. They're they have no clue what what they can do, what they can't do. They're doing some. They're doing ridiculous things across the board. Um, but I mean, their charge is to keep your kids safe. How underzealous do you want them to be? The best was the the president's tweet to this kid uh, the other day when he said. Hey, Ahmed, cool clock. Uh, Want to come show it to me at the White House? This is the kind of thing we need to inspire more kids in America to be into science. And I think that's the right response. It's, it's that, you know, uh, uh, this is a kid who, who is trying, who is saying, look, I'm going to do something that maybe not everyone else can do. Uh, and and that's the kind of ingenuity we want to we want to encourage in kids in this country and and say yeah you know if you want to try to build a digital clock yeah, that's a pretty that's a pretty neat idea a and because so many things here are freighted with with race and class and immigration and all these other really tense discussions that we're having uh, they they get perturbed into really bad incidents and I mean I, it's not funny it's you know to to, to think about a kid that age. Uh, getting into that kind of trouble, who's not in trouble, who's not done anything to be in that kind of trouble. It's a, it is the kind of event that that kid will remember the rest the of his rest life. The rest of his life. I, I do think he probably used, I mean, the, the judgment, again, it's a 14-year-old kid of bringing something with wires and everything, hanging out and dragging I it thought, from class to class. thought, look what I did. But my thing is with the, with the school, and I do, I do know, you know, I have three kids of my own who are in middle school and elementary school. You want to make sure that the school takes priority in making sure your kids are safe. I get that. But I don't understand why the situation wasn't diffused no, not to even me. Call his in, 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 in such a quick way of saying, no, it's a clock. I showed Mr. Smith, the science teacher this morning, my clock. Okay, well, let's get Mr. Smith down here. And if they were that concerned that there was a bomb in the building, how come this place wasn't evacuated <laughs> in 20 minutes flat? Or the bomb squad called in <laughs> and they had said like five police officers <laughs> hemming and hawing and saying, well, it looks kind of crazy <laughs> to me and let's talk about it and then let's remove the kid in handcuffs. Um, I, you know, it is I, the kind of profiling, it is the kind of, I mean, the, the the nature of profiling is about assumptions, right? It is not about rational acts or or facts. It is that uh, we're looking at something and drawing a conclusion based on uh, on one thing and ignoring everything else. And so uh, this wasn't about whether this was a bomb or not. This wasn't about whether anyone was safe or not. This was about this kid, his name, and, and his ethnicity. And we gotta be able to say that in this country and, and, and talk about that and why that happens as frequently as it does and what we might do to try to change some of those inherent biases. Well, Hillary Clinton tweeted him as well and uh, well, offered, I offered I her support. Offered <laughs> 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 her support. So, uh, just a little interesting something that's in the news. And that's my week after the show. We'll see you next week.